Hey guys, welcome to 1922 Project. My name is Kelly and today I'm going to walk you guys through setting up a website with SNS Activewear. Um, it's something that I've been meaning to do for a long time and I keep putting it off. So I thought, well, if I make a video about it, um, it'll motivate me to do it. Um, I'm certainly uh, no expert. I don't even really know what I'm doing, but I sometimes I find that helpful if the person I'm watching is kind of talking through some of the struggles and the ins and outs of it all. Um, it, it makes um, for a good video. So we'll do that in just a minute. But first I have show and tell as always. Um, I just finished up a really cute um, customer request for a shirt. Um, she sent me this is not this is not an Etsy. I'm not even putting this on Etsy. I didn't take Etsy pictures. None of it. Um, this is a, someone who has um, gosh hair in my face from my my fans up really high because it's hot. Um, this is someone who's ordered from me several times. It's like a friend of a friend, but she's probably ordered 10. I've never met her. Um, so it does have to be shipped. She doesn't live here, but, um, it is not an Etsy order. So anyway, she had a special request. She sent me like some inspiration, um, things that she wanted. Um, and then I just took it from there. Uh, this is this font and so this is the same font this is the magnolia sky from designs by juju the of in there is from designs by juju i can't remember which one i think simon um but then the day she didn't want or she said uh she gave me a lot of freedom on this um she just said bright and fun so um she said i could do fabric or no fabric um but she liked this font so um, I didn't have that. I mean, this would, would be like an applique font you could probably buy. It's just not something I have. So I digitized that. I was pretty proud of that. Um, and then I digitized the hearts and then the circle around the of. So in retrospect, I probably should have made that like a sun. That would have been cute. But it's just like a sketchy little circle just for some, because again, it was kind of part of the inspiration picture. But, so that's going to be mailed um, tomorrow. I actually have not um, sold any shirts probably in two months. I think my last Etsy order was for a gown. Um, oh, and I have um, some swim cover-ups. They're up there somewhere. Um, and those have been selling. But um, not shirts. But anyway, friend of a friend. Word of mouth, that's what we're focused on. We're focused on word of mouth and um, businesses. So, oh, the other thing I have is I am making two bags for, for I think I mentioned this. So my friend's cat died, um, it was a ginger cat, and um, I showed you guys the vinyl, that's what it was. Um, and so I'm making purses for her daughters. There's, so there's two purses. Um, it's the Dyna bag from Catsiopia, and um, I finally cut everything out, but what I did that's fun that I'm going to show you is I sublimated the lining pieces. So waterproof canvas is 100% polyester, which means it can be sublimated, um, and I put little, so these are all the lining pieces, and they have little kitties on them, and I was so super proud of that. Um, anyway, I'm probably going to start this today because the company that, um, ordered the backpacks from me that I did a couple videos ago or last video, that was exhausting yet fun. Um, they have contacted me again and now they need 50 blankets. So I'm not sure. I mean, one of the things about doing business this way is I'm learning how to be very flexible and like, you know, with Etsy and shirts and everything, it's like, oh, the birthday is this day and I need it by this day. And this is a little more loosey goosey. And, and oftentimes I'm finding it's like, we need these backpacks right away. Except we're not gonna get you the backpacks till the day we said we needed them. And now whatever, just get them to us when you get them to us. So that's kind of what's happening with the blankets. Like they called me on Friday. We need these immediately. Yes, I can do that. Uh, it's just a one, um, one hoop thing. Um, I believe it's all white thread. It's two different logos, but they're both small. So it's going to be super easy. 
Um, but uh, they have a, they, I don't have the backpack yet. So, I mean, no, I'm sorry, blankets. I don't have the blanket yet. But anyway, so I'll probably start those bags today because I don't really have much of else anything going on since I finished this um, shirt. But that leads me to today's video. So I order a lot of my blanks um other than like little girl shirts these I bought this is um love that cotton um but or um I do ARB or AJ blanks but adult I typically order from S&S &S because I'm in the Austin area and they have a warehouse in Fort Worth if what I need is in Fort Worth, I often get it the next day or two days. I'll let you know, I ordered something today um, and I'll let you know if it comes tomorrow or um, the next day. But it's super fast and um, they've been really easy to work with and nice to work with. And so has, um, I signed up for an account with Sanmar as well um, and they've been super nice. Um, I just, I, I want it to be, I kind of want to pick one because I don't want to give people too many options. Um, that gets me in trouble, I think, sometimes. Um, so I just recently discovered, I didn't know this for the longest time, but you can go onto SNS's website, and Sandmar told me the same thing. You can do it with them too. For now, I'm just going to do SNS. Um, and you can kind of build a website and you can make it to where it shows people your prices or doesn't. Um, I'm gonna do doesn't, um, and but it, it helps them see the styles they can pick from as well as the um, what's in stock. So what kind of prompted me to do this today is my friend, my neighbor down the street, wanted like 10 shirts and I've done shirts for her before and sure fine and, and oftentimes what that means is is that it's me sending, okay, well, you do this shirt or that shirt or this shirt, and I'm sending constant texts and emails. Of, well, what about this one? Well, I don't really like the neck on that one. Do you have something in this? And then I send this, and then I send, you know. Whereas today, I just sent her to S&S &S, um, website and said, find what you like, and then I'll check to see if those are in stock. My understanding is, and we're going to find out, but my understanding is if I create a website, um, then I can send that website to people. They can not only see the styles, but they can see if their sizes are in stock. And then they can send me a request for what they want. Um, now, when they send that request, it does not place an order with SNS. I still have to place the order, um, but I could give this website to anyone who may or may not be interested in shirts. Um, I have another um, contact with a school who wants some, for, and that's going to ramp up here real soon. People are going to want their shirts over the summer um, for the fall um, semester or, you know, school year. So um, I have a school, a middle school that wants like 100 shirts, and I really need to send that. I really got to like up the customer service here so that I get that. Um, and then they can tell other schools and, you know, kind of and get that ball rolling. So I thought this was like a really professional way. Um, and then I have a mock-up of the design that they wanted. So I can send the mock-up of the design as well as this website to this person. And then that way they not only can see what their design looks like, but what kind of shirt options they might have. Um, so that long-winded story <laughs> is to tell you that you can do that on SNS and Sanmar. I'm sure the other ones too. I Jiffy does too, I'm certain. I've never ordered from Jiffy. The, the prices just never seem to work out right for me. Um, but um, SNS has good prices. I even ordered a shirt for myself um, since I was placing an order. Um, and uh, a good selection. I, I, you know, again, you don't need, I don't wanna give somebody 500 choices. Like let's have, these choices, um, everybody, you know, likes the Bella Canva shirts, but they are often out of stock. So I, now I'm not going to have to relay that information for people. They can go to the website and see. So I'm going to turn you around. We're going to do a lot of staring at the computer. I don't anticipate that this is going to take a long time. 
Um, as a matter of fact, I'm hoping it doesn't so that it'll motivate other people to do, to do the same. Like, I hope it's really super quick and easy. Um, but let's take a look. All right, I apologize for the glare. We have gotten new windows and I don't have any blinds or anything up yet. Um, but we're just gonna go to SNS Activewear. They do require that you have a wholesale account. Um, however, if you are um, selling things, you need to have a business account anyway, and, or you know, a, um, a tax ID number, and that's all they need. They just need your tax ID number and that sort of stuff. So. Anyway, I've had a I've had a, a account with them for a long time. Um, am I logged in? Let's see. Um, whoops! Accidentally showed you my um, account information, so I'll have to cut that out. But anyway, um, I am logged in. So what I'm going to do is, I believe it is. This is the other thing. It took me a minute to find it earlier. Um, marketing tools down here in this left-hand corner, marketing tools, we're going to go to custom websites and then they do have a video that kind of walks you through everything. I'm sure that's very helpful. I have not watched it. Might be smart to do it, whatever. Um, but we are going to do a generic website without, um, pricing. And so what that does is you can take, you can send people to this. And then they can search for whatever it is that they want. So let's go back and create our website. So, um, Let's see, so yes. Oh look, company begins with that, yes. Um, okay, so what happens? I don't know what that is, filter, builder. Okay, company. All right, so is it asking me to, let me just enter that again and see what happens. Um, okay. Oh, and then, okay. So my company name and what I want the website address to be, and then we create new website. Um, that is my email, um, directory name. All right, let's just put, uh, huh, sportswear collection. Uh, let's just do business name again. Oops. Okay, so then we can put um, our logo in. Um, if you, I would assume if you don't have a logo, you would not need to do that. Um, it doesn't look like it's a required field. Um, let's see, there's my logo. I got a logo off of um, Fiverr. And it's cute, it's fine. Um, oh. Uh, home page image. Oh, let's see if it shows us. Oh, okay. So you can, where I'm right here at home page. And so I'm just going to go through all of these. Um, home page image. I can do, oh, let's do t-shirts because that's mostly what people order from me. Okay. So we'll use that as our home page. Um, oh, that's fun. We could go through and I could use the colors from my logo as, um, theme colors, but, ew, that's gross. Um, we'll just pick one. Blue is kind of fun. Eh, blue looks good to me. Okay. So what is next? So that's our homepage. And then I guess we go up here 
to contact us. Oh, and then you can put a little message. Um, thank you for your interest. We will be in touch within one business day regarding your um, inquiry. Okay. Um, and then I might wait. Um, I'm going to wait to um, enter all that stuff just so that I'm not entering my address and stuff on the internet. Um, so all of that, you can put your social media. I'm not gonna do all of that because I'm really anticipating the fact that anyone who comes to this, I have actually sent them there. Um, I'm not using this for um, someone who has never heard of me. Um, so, okay, so now I'm on pro, I, I went through contact us. So all I put was my, um, email. I don't know why that's gone now. Oh, am I supposed to be saving? Oh boy. Yep. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, you got to go down here. Okay. That's what I was doing wrong. So you got to go down here and, um, put save it. All right, dummy. Okay. Um, so let me go back to home page. Oh, my logo showing up now. So that's fun. Um, did it do? Okay. Home page image. We got to pick this again because I did not save. So be sure to save. There we go. Uh, and I actually kind of like this white here. So let's save and continue that. And then I'll put our inquiry again. It, I think it lost my little message there, but I'll um, go back and add that later. Um, okay, so I'm now at products. Show closeout products, uh, sure. Why not show drop ship only? Um, I don't know. I might have to, I might have to preview my site and think about that. So, okay. Well, I'm saving and continuing, but it's not doing anything. Maybe that's a computer problem. Okay. So... Show pricing. All right, so this is kind of fun. This is kind of what I like about it. So you can either show pricing or not, but what you can do is you can show the price and then, okay, minimum display price is $10. Okay, click on the price tag on, on below. So I believe what I just did by clicking this right here, it says click on the price tag icon below to offer 100% markup, which is usually about what I do. So I think what that means is, uh, no. Okay, so it's giving you options. You can do a, if you click this, you 100% markup. If you click this, the markup is based on the brand. And if you do this, the markup is based on category. Let's do this one and just see what that looks like um, and take it from there. Um, okay, so that's my link. That's pretty fun. Um, so you can copy this and send it to people. But let's go back. Uh, let's go back and let's preview it. So we preview this here. So it's got my logo. It's got all of the options that someone might have. And let's go, my favorite is Next Level. I know everybody loves Bella Canvas, but I'm a Next Level fan. Okay, interesting. So some of these have 
don't have pricing. So let's see what happens. Oh, you know what? Okay, so let's go back. So see, it's saying for pricing, it's saying, you know, it's not giving them that. So I believe that if I go back and I don't show pricing, which is probably what I'm going to do, um, just because that's more comfortable for me, I can quote them a price after we've discussed what they want on their shirts. Um, so if I do that and then I go again to next level, they should all have the, yeah, so see how it's got no prices. So someone can come here, they can say, man, I really want this kind of shirt. And um, then they can see if that color is available. Now this white color is only available in cases. So it looks like they're all only available in cases. So that might have to be something that you explain to people. But let's go to one. Um, maybe I'll take that out. Hmm. Oh, 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 never mind. Okay, see, it just looks different to me because I'm used to looking at it a different way. But it's saying that there are, so, okay, that's the case quantity. But here it says inventory. And so it tells the customer, yes, you can buy that. There are plenty of those. Um, let me find something that I know is out of stock. Bella Canvas is always hit or miss. So um, let's just try this one. Uh, let's see if we can find something that is low stock. Uh, everything's, oh, they're looking pretty good. Oh, okay, like this. If you needed 70, the customer would know, okay, I can't pick that um, because there's only 68 of them. Um, and again, all of this is designed so that I'm not sending someone a hundred different emails back and forth. Um, now, obviously, I'm going to continue to provide excellent customer service. And if they don't want to do all of this, um, oh, let's see. Uh, okay. Um, if they don't want to do all of this, then I'll do it for them. But honestly, I have so many friends who ask me for shirts they're going to have to do this because I'm not doing this for friends or, you know, I'm not doing the back and forth a thousand times with friends. So let's go back. It's telling me I've got, okay, if you go to contact us. Okay. So on contact us, which is up here, I, this is where I'm going to type my little um, message. Thank you for your interest. We will be in contact within the next 24 hours. I, I, I said something totally different last time, but this is what we're saying this time. Um, regarding your inquiry. Okay. And then we'll save that. And then now let's see if that shows up better. So then every time you save, you can go and see what it looks like. Contact us. Okay. Uh, geo code was not successful. Okay. I'll have to look into that. I'm not sure if that's just something that's showing up on my end or if the customer will see that. But, um, so there's my little message. Thank you for your interest. We will be in contact within the next 24 hours regarding your inquiry. Um, oh, I wonder what is that? So I guess if I had, I could put my, um, Instagram here. Um, what else? Let's go back. Um, oh, again, I put this earlier and then, so it's definitely super easy to navigate. Um, especially now that I figured out the save and continue is down here. Um, like you can enter stuff and then go check it out and see how it looks. Um, and again, when you see your logo, you know that this is what the customer is going to see. Um, 
You know what's always out is Richardson hats. So let's look at those. And Okay, so somebody who wants a white Richardson hat is gonna know they can't get it from me because there are zero available. Um, and again, the theory is it just kind of will cut down on the back and forth. I've said that 12 times, whatever. Um, okay, it's still, I wonder what's happening with this page. Maybe it's because I haven't fully filled it out. Um, and the reason why I haven't fully filled it out is because it's asking for my address and stuff. Um, I could put, let's see, I'll put my state and my zip code. I mean, honestly, if you guys were real creeps, you could get on here later and look it up because I am going to put it. Um, let's see. Um... I'm going to say no to the drop ship only products just because that makes me more comfortable. Okay, let's go look again. Do, do, do. Okay. And then I do want to go back and see. Ah. That's what it was. It didn't like that I didn't have an address there. So just putting in your uh, zip code helps get rid of that um, random thing it was sending me. Okay, so we got that figured out. Uh, again, I'm really pleased with how simple this is and how easy it is to go back and forth. So let's try, let's for fun, uh, again, I'm going to keep it as no on the pricing. People can contact me and I will tell them what price that they're going to have for the item as well as the embroidery. Um, if they do, my fear is, is that if I do this, if I say, okay, display the price and um, do the markup, then... What the customer is going to see, there we go. My computer's just being really slow today. Um, what the customer is going to see is, hang on, let's get there. I don't know why I'm carrying here. Um, what the customer is gonna see is that shirt is $9 and she's charging me 20. Why am I paying that much? Whereas if you tell somebody that, you know, every shirt they, or what, I mean, I'm just making up numbers here, but if you tell them their shirt is $15, they're going to say, oh, okay, fine. But if they know you've only spent $4 on the shirt, then it's going to be like, well, why are you charging me that much? So I, not that all customers talk that way, but uh, some do, and I would just rather eliminate that altogether. Um, and again, I will quote them a price on the item as well as the embroidery. And then that way there's no, they can either take it or leave it. Um, okay, so I don't know why it won't let me preview from that page, but whatever. Just go back one and check it out. Um, so the only other thing I might, I mean, this is cute. And look, that color, hmm. So what I could do is I could go back and color match this to my, just to make it kind of seem like a more cohesive, um, uh, branding kind of thing. Again, I, I mean, Nobody is going to go th to this website unless I've sent them there, as far as I know. I mean, they could. You could Google me and find it that way. Um, let's see. I don't know. I don't know my um, brand colors. If I did, I could kind of plug them into here. Um, you know what I've done in the past? Um, hang on one second and I'll show you. Okay, I didn't want to make the mistake of pulling up, you know, other random things on my computer that I don't necessarily want to share. Um, so this is another version of my logo that I got from the Fiverr person. 
Um, but sometimes what I do, and they're probably, you could do this probably in Canva. You may even be able to do it in, I don't, not Word, but whatever a Mac has. Um, I always do it in um, Silhouette Studio. But if you're in Silhouette Studio or somewhere else, you can go and grab your color. Um, and then it'll tell you what that number is. So then you can just copy it. And then let's see, top nav, where is it that I want to put that? I want to put that, yeah, let's do it here. I actually meant to do the kind of teal color, but let's see what that looks like. Um, save, and then let's preview it. So see how that brought, oh, I like that orange, or, you know, whatever, I don't know what color that is, but see how it brought that in? Um, and I could do that, you know, like this little shopping bag, I think I could match to the 1922. Um, so again, I am sure that there are business owners who know the code for the hex code for their uh, branding colors right off the top of their heads. I am not one of those people. So I am going to go through and let's see. Okay. So you can kind of click on these, make sure everything is showing up the way you want it to. This what's new button is kind of fun. And again, we have it set to where there's no pricing. Oh, but see, look, if this per if somebody contacted me and they wanted um, this shirt, they could only get it in an extra small. Um, but they can come down here and they can look at the specs. Like, so nobody has to ask me again, like, how long is that shirt? Is the, the, you know, does it fit true to size? What measure yourself and find out. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's kind of a rambling, uh, video we did today, but, um, I'm glad I did it because again, I have been meaning to do this forever. Uh, oh, let's see. So then save and continue. Am I done? I must be done. I bet you can just X out of here. And, um, let's see, let's open. Um, I don't ever use, okay. So wait a minute. Oh, 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 I know. Let's go back. Um, now how do I get there again? I don't want to create a new website. I want to go back to that one. Oh, well, let's just do this. Um, okay. Uh, home. Let's go home. What I'm trying to do is find my link again. Oh, is that it? Okay, let's see. Um... um manage okay go over here manage add no did i screw up like how do i get back to it um custom websites yeah yeah how do i find my website again um oh boy okay um resources resources what's under resources Custom websites. Uh, you can all just FYI while I'm searching for this. You can also do um, virtual designs, um, which is kind of cool. Oh, that's if you've already done some. Um, I have done this before on a hat. Um, so if you wanted to show a customer what something's going to look like on their hat, you can go down here to virtual designer and it will even, uh, you can add design and you can either upload a design or, um, I thought you could do text. Oh, you can, I just clicked on the wrong thing. Um, let's cancel this. So you can do, if you just wanted to do text, you can do add text and add embroidery text. Um, and it kind of shows up looking like embroidery, which is pretty cool. Um, do you, uh, can I, how do I make this bigger? Um, ah. 
when it's bigger, see how that kind of, it's probably hard to tell, but it looks, it looks like stitches for sure. Um, wonder if I change it to white. Nah, that looks worse. Um, oh no, kind of, see how it kind of changes into looking like embroidery stitches. So that's kind of cool. I mean, again, you just have to tell people like, look, I haven't actually stitched my name on this hat, but this is about what it would look like. Okay, so that was a bit of a sidetrack there. How do I find my website once I've created it and I want to, um, okay, custom websites, marketing tools, print kind of does custom websites. Um, okay, well, I'm on the custom website. Oh, can I, is that going to view mine or is it going to view someone? No, that's not mine. Um, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go back in my history. Um, oh, but it's only going to show me that. How do I go back? Um, to change this up a little. Oh, maybe this got us there. Nope. Uh, there are some of you right now that are screaming at your computer like, oh my God, this is what you do. Um, but again, the whole reason why I did this is so that we could work through this together. Um, full history, okay. Uh, you probably don't want to know what I bought on Amazon. Ah, how do I get back to it? Websites. Manage account. See, I'm afraid if I go... Oh, I wonder if it's my manage account. Okay, hold please. Okay. That was dumb of me. Um, I thought it was maybe gonna be under um, manage account, so I didn't wanna click on that on camera um, <clears throat> to show all my info. But all I had to do was go back to um, custom websites and then go to create website, even though we're not gonna create a new one. And now this screen looks different. So it's got my website address, and then I can also email a link um, which, uh, it's pulling up that email. I don't ever use that. Hello, go away, cancel. Um, so yeah, we won't be doing that. I will just copy and paste this to send to people. Um, also I just noticed, which is cool, it, the hit count. So that will tell you how many people have been to your, um, website. Uh, the only other thing, so, oh, so then here, this is what I was trying to look for is like, how do I change things? You just go to edit. Um, so there's a Google analytics code. If you're smart and know how to do all of that stuff, I am not that smart, but I know people who are that smart. So maybe someday again, this will only be for certain people. So haven't entered that yet. I think it has everything I want so far. Um, but again, it's easy enough to go back and change it. Um, clone, I don't know. This is my guess. My guess is you can clone it and do it again, but make a few changes. Like, um, like if you did want some people to be able to see the prices and some people not, you don't have to start from the beginning. You could just change that one thing and then send them that other link and not this one. So maybe it would be like 1922project-2 or something. So I assume that this is now live. So I can send this out to people. Um, and again, would have been super handy this morning when my neighbor from down the street was trying to find shirts. Um, and then I'm going to send it to the school that I'm working with so they can check out 
um, what shirt they want. Now, probably what I'll do is I'll send um, the mock-up. I'll send um, my this email, I mean, this website, and I'll say, these are the shirts that people really like that are soft and comfy and true to size, which typically is going to be Next Level or um, the Bella Canvas. Uh, but uh, I think Gildan has a new one, new-ish, that um, is kind of comfy too. With, oh, the soft style. Yeah, those are pretty nice too. So just kind of send them that. Um, and all of those are generally within the same price point. Um, what, you know, I mean, a school is, everybody wants these now, these soft styles. This heavy cotton is a cheaper shirt. Um, so if you know that somebody really, really wants a bargain, you may send them the heavy cotton, like the old school um, cheapy, cheapy that you can still get at Walmart for just a couple bucks kind of, um, shirts. But, um, that's probably what I'll do is, um, send a couple of options. Hey, check out these so that they're not overwhelmed either. Um, but they can certainly filter, you know, you can just direct them to the fact that they can filter. All right. I am talking way too much. I'm glad we got that done. I'm excited. I will keep you updated as to if I learn any new quirks or whatever, but that took minutes to set up. I highly recommend and um, good luck. Let me know if you do it and I will chat with you guys later. Have a great day.